guys, I hope you're all doing well back here with a new lesson. Now, this was not a request. This is just something that I wanted to do. If you guys don't know me personally, well, you should because I'm a huge Beatles fan and I believe that uh, bands like this are something that you should really look into and focus on because they have written a lot of great music and a lot of theor theoretical music that can help you with um, your theory and basic chord structure and stuff. So this is obviously a classic. Uh, it's a very simple tune to play. It's three chords the entire time. And... Uh, it's universally known. So I'm going to zoom in on the fretboard. I'm going to show you the little solo there, uh, George Harrison's part. I'm going to show you John Lennon's part as well. So I'll zoom in and break it down. All right, guys. So this whole song is in the key of D major. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you two different ways to play it. I'm going to show you in this position, and I'm going to show you in this position. All right, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a D chord to G to A. So D, 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 G, 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 A. D, 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 G, 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 A. D, 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 G, 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 A. Those are the verses. one part when we're actually in the chorus and we're going to hold on to A7. I believe uh, I believe John's playing it this way. He might be playing it this way. Basically what I'm doing with A7 I'm just going to take a bar chord, like an A rooted bar chord with the one finger and I'm going to put my middle finger on the G string, or I'm sorry, the G note, which is the first fret, or the first string third fret G note. That's a7. It's just a different way to play it. So I'll be. You got it. Now, the second way to play it is if you wanted to play it this way. I believe George Harrison's playing it this way, actually. Because he's kind of doubling up on the chords as John's playing down here. George is up here. And what I'm doing there is I got D, G, 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 A. But what's different of what George is doing is he's making that A chord an A7 at the last minute. And what that is is taking a standard bar chord A and then moving your pinky up to that G note which is the 8th fret of the B string, just with our pinky, so D, 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 G, 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 A, A7, D, 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 G, 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 A, A7. But what's cool about what John is doing is he's doing this little bass line. is I'm going on the A string, zero, two, four. And then he's hitting the open D. So zero, two, four, D. So on the A string, zero, two, four, open D. If you can't hit that open D, you can just go 0, 2, 4, D chord. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and I'm going to show you that little solo. I know it's a little tight here, but I'm going to kind of, I want to get a good angle on it so you guys can see what's going on. So the solo is this. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm going first uh, ring finger, fifth fret of the D string. Middle finger, fourth fret of the D string. So I'm on A, five, and four on D. And I'm gonna go. And then I'm moving those two fingers down 
a set of strings. So I'm in the same position, but now I'm just moving them down. So ring finger would be on five of the D, and uh, middle finger would be on four of G. So da, 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 da. And then what I'm doing here now is I'm doing a double stop. These are all just double stops. And I'm going uh, middle finger, or ring finger, I'm sorry, no, that is middle finger, on the fourth fret of the G, first finger on the D note, third fret of the B. So, do. And then what I'm doing there is I'm barring the D string on the second fret as well as the G string on the second fret. doing here is I'm have my first finger on the A note, second fret of the G string, um, ring finger fourth fret of the D string, and then I'm sliding that back up to that original shape where I'm back on um, the D string on five and the G string on four, and then sliding back. So all together I have because you're playing both strings at the same time so you gotta have to really get used to those double steps but here it is in time one two three four That was the lesson and it was really quick. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And I will see you in the upcoming videos. Take care, guys, and twist and shout.